Hello everybody, welcome to Excel Video 325. I'm Nate Moore. I was working on a project last night for a group that was frustrated with the reporting out of their time and attendance software. They wanted to know who'd requested paid time off and the PTO balance and all that kind of stuff. And it was really frustrating to go in and out of the reports and not get really what they wanted. They said, can you help us? And I said, sure. So we dug in, got the information we needed and spit it out in the table. And now it's very easy to filter and sort and get exactly what they need. When you need data out of one of your systems, I'd love to help you. What we're going to do today is switch to a new data set. I have some evaluation management codes, a bunch of them here, so we can look at here are my referring physicians up here and the primary insurance down here. And there's a bunch of different ways to analyze and we'll play with evaluation and management codes for the next several Excel videos. What I want to show you today, though, is we've spent all this time on the options tab. We've gone through all these different options. We've done all kinds of different things. Haven't spent much time over here. And I want to start on the design tab and play with that for a few minutes in a couple of Excel videos. The easiest place might be to start is over here at the right with pivot table styles. And what you can do is you can scroll up and down with these arrows here. What I like to do is just click this arrow and it just shows everybody. It's going to slide off the screen here for you a little bit and I apologize for that. But that there are a whole bunch of options. And what you can do is notice how as I kind of hover over the options, you can see there's a bunch of different styles that are all set up and organized. I'm just scrolling down here to see some darker ones. For the most part, these darker ones are, I mean, that's going to be kind of tough to print and see what's going on. But on the screen, some of these ideas might work. And then here's some medium ones up here and some lighter ones. I'm going to go with this red guy right here. And then from there, once you've picked a style, there are a bunch of things you can do with it. You can do banded rows, which in this case will highlight the rows, or underline, I guess I should say. There are others to see how this one shades alternating rows you can do that automatically the idea of these pivot table styles is you can just pick a consistent style and make all your pivot tables look like that or maybe it's all for this division looks like uh, the maybe a blue color and everything for this physician is green or everything that has to do with collections is red you've got a whole bunch of different preset styles here and you can tweak them a little bit row headers depending on and column headers you can see they change a little bit and let me just put them back so you can, well, let, let's pick a darker one. Might be a little bit easier to see something like that. Let's see if row headers and column, see there's the column headers that change and the row headers. Some of it is just a personal preference of what you like to see. And you can do stuff like that and shade every other row. And I've got banded rows and now I don't. Or for some pivot tables, it may make sense to band columns. And again, some of these styles banding columns looks more of a shaded kind of thing others it's more of an, an underlying kind of thing it's just a personal preference of what you like and again because I clicked banded columns here the preview looks like that if I uncheck banded columns then you'll see that I don't get those same kind of previews over here based on what I have checked over here so it's all kind of a personal preference kind of thing of what you want your pivot table to look like their pivot table styles and these pivot table style options will help you tweak it. If you don't find exactly what you want, I want to show you one more thing in this Excel video way down at the bottom. New pivot table style will let you go in and create a style and say, I want the whole table to do this. I want the report filter values or labels to look like this. Let's just pick the first row stripe. What do I want my first row stripe to look like? I can go in and format the fill and let's just do this color here and click OK. And now I've got banded stripes going that way. And I can make the second stripe white like it is, or I can make it some weird looking awful, give yourself a headache combination. You can do all kinds of things by changing the format of the columns and the stripes and how things are set up, the stripe size, all that. And you can make it the default quick style for this document. So everything I do from here on out looks like that. If you're trying to match a logo or a color scheme or something like that for one of the projects you're working on, and you don't find what you need up here in the pivot table styles, you can certainly create one. That's what I wanted to show you about pivot table styles today. I want to play with some of these other layout options. We'll start doing that next time. Thanks for watching.